But Drake and Kendrick Lamar did throw down hands, uh, metaphorically, you know, uh, musically, whatever you want to call it. And it's a little interesting to talk about. I think with Drake, especially, it's interesting. And by the way, they, they've made plenty of songs. So go look at the recent songs. We're not going to talk about it all. Um, but Kendrick released a song, uh, like a six and a half minute song on Drake, who went right in. He went at him as a father. He went at him as everything. He told him pretty much he doesn't want him identifying as a as an African American male man. I he's told him a lot of stuff, and then Drake did one too. Drop him, give him, drop and give him fifty or like fifty push ups. Like you're below me, and I think that was the message Drake wanted to get across. I think he wanted to get across that I'm not going to punch down to Kendrick Lamar. I'm better than Kendrick Lamar. I'm not going to do that. His ba Drake's base is locked solid. It's not going anywhere. But the general consensus is that Drake lost this confrontation and Drake's lost some other, I guess, so to speak, confrontations uh, with rappers. And that's the thing, because, you know, we talk about sports a lot here, but it's the same thing with rappers almost, too, where it's like you want to be looked at. A lot of these guys and a lot of these famous people, they like to ask, what is their legacy? What will be my legacy when I'm gone? What will be my legacy when I'm retired? Well, Drake, if he keeps taking these losses, you know, he's going to be remembered as a great rapper. He's popular right now. But what about in the future? The future generation, you know, they'll look at him. OK, grandpa's listening to Drake. That's nice. That which will that's going to be weird to think about later on. So grandpa's yeah. listening to Drake. That's nice. But what is his actual legacy? Well, he got clowned on by Kendrick Lamar. OK, that's it. Is he the goat? Nope. And that's what they're going to say from now. So Drake. You know, it's again, it's funny to see these grown men all aside. I, I view it as entertainment. They view it as their livelihood, though. Um, I do believe Kendrick Lamar came out on top. I think Drake wanted to act like he was above him. But if you're above him, why did you make the diss track in the first place? And again, if he wants because they do all care about his leg their legacy. Drake, you can't take public losses like this if, if you want to look back on your legacy. But anyways, Jake, what I want to ask you is, what do you think about all these types of beats? Do you think they're silly or what do you think about them? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been following along too too much. I think that when you started, it was it was dumb. I think that you know they're both great rappers. I think that they, I don't, because I didn't understand the whole reasoning behind this. So when they started, I didn't follow it that much. But I, I mean, I kind of agree with what you're saying. You know, I think it had to do. No. I forget which one. I, I haven't followed this that very closely either. I believe it was Drake, but I'm not sure. One of them said the top three rappers are this, this, this. And I think Kendrick Lamar was the one who said, F the big three, it's just the big me. Like, he's the big rapper, which I don't really understand. I mean, I know maybe some people are Kendrick Lamar fans. I've never, his music's weird to me. He doesn't have a great singing style. I think Drake has a great singing style. I think he's a great singer. I think he's made a he's made some songs I don't care for, but like generally, I think he's a really good rapper. I think he's motivational. Um, and I think he hits all the quiet. I think Drake's the better rapper, hands down, than Kendrick Lamar. But again, when you get in these scruffs, that's what that's what the people who actually pay attention to rap to, um, they remember. And uh Drake's losing. So, but yeah, I agree, it's a little silly.